at an abandoned hospital. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. What's happened? What's happened? Who are you? We're just here filming a video, like for YouTube. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Shit. I have spoke to Rob, and Rob said that he would like to sit down with me. He would like to explain why I ask him questions. What actually happened to him? Before we got, we are going to be going to see Rob, and we saved his life. Hi uh, guys, how you feeling? Good. A guy that I've been kind of seeing, one put his hands on my shoulders and forced me down. I thought it was curing, to be honest. And I kept kicking and kicking, uh, like a, a burning sensation um, on the back of my neck. I, I, I can't imagine how. So much you said, you're very vulnerable. Got a hold of you in this building. Got his mates, and then he, you have to do what he said. This is the cable tie that was chained round the chain to keep him stuck. Alex, get him out of here now! Alex, get him out of here now, bro! Yo, wait. Fuck! Get off him, man! Get off him, man! Jordan, come! Jordan, go! Jordan, get off! Scare him, man! Fuck off, bro! When Jordan grabbed the guy, yeah, that's off of one of them. Ain't off, mate. There's some, yeah, exactly. I had no idea that was gonna happen. I bet that was because I put the Snapchat up. Apologise to Rob. <laughs> Is that right of you, bro? You know what? You know what? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, alright, well, we'll see you tomorrow at 3 pm. Rob, Rob, no! Just wait! Rob! Jordan, grab him! Jordan, grab him! Jordan, grab him! Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, mate. Sorry, bruv, sorry, bruv. Who right. the fuck is that? Alright, bruv, sorry, right. We have got proof that it was you, otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Right, we can easily walk away right now and take that to the police, right? All we're asking is for your cooperation your politeness to speak and give us what he needs as the justice of why you've done what you've done. The matter is, me apologising to this guy isn't going to make any difference. No, because he's just telling it to exact same thing again. It's not going to make any fucking do. difference, apologies you know what I mean? Bro, you don't seem to understand. Ten fucking bags, bro. Ten fucking bags. Ten grand, fam. To just leave some guy in a fucking asylum, bro. Rob, Rob, Rob! Rob! Rob, Rob, the oh shit, shit. Jordan, bruv. Jordan, bruv. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. We're not having it. We're not having it. See you around. See you around, mate. That was mad. That was mad. Honestly, God. Fucking scumbag. Oi, on the scotch here, watch that back. Watch him make sure his pocket. Watch him make sure his pocket. What, he had something in his pocket? Yeah, a million percent. Him. It's 100% him. Call him again. Speak to him this time. Speak to him. Stop ringing this time. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Stay there. We're not gonna hurt you. We just want to chat. So. Stay there, Because you wanted to dip your dick somewhere else and didn't want to get caught. Shit. That's what you did. It's not like that. You know that you. That we know where he, everything he lives in. We know where you live. We know everything, bro. We've researched everything. So this was not the plan whatsoever. But I shouldn't actually have to be talking to you from my house right now. Because as you're aware, this series has gone way too much out of proportion. It started off with me, Jordan and Alex finding a guy, this random guy, chained up inside an abandoned mental asylum. Helped him, we interviewed him and we investigated the case to try and give him that closure. Then he became our friend. He started helping us out with videos, supporting us in a good way. And it's gone from him owing us to now we owe him and we're trying to get to the bottom of exactly what happened to him. This series has literally completely spiralled into something huge and I don't even know where to start this video. So the last two parts obviously will be linked down below if you haven't seen them already. We met up with two of the guys that attacked, chained up and robbed and beat the hell out of Rob. Chained him and left him for dead. One of them claimed that he was paid 10 grand to do this and the other one was very apologetic but claimed that the main man himself, as we know him as Craig, Rob's ex other half threatened him and blackmailed him saying that he was going to tell his girlfriend that he cheated on her if he didn't do this job on Rob. Now it gets quite confusing but if you followed the story you will know where we're at. The next stage 
was for us to hunt down and find Craig. Surprise and meet him and interview him himself. The main guy. Call the police, get the police to arrest him and it's all done. There has been a couple of complications with that. Craig is harder to track down than we thought, but we are 80% on the way to getting hold of all the details we need on Craig and running up to go and meet him. You may be thinking, what are we doing in this video? Something has come to light that is absolutely insane. Something I never would have dreamed of happening in this series. As I said, part seven, we meet Craig, it's closed. This is part seven. Part eight will be out next week if we can find out Craig's details and meet him in time. If you guys are new to my channel, please do subscribe. There'll be a button on the screen somewhere around here. There's also the big red subscribe button down below. Please smash it and help me get to a quarter of a million subscribers as soon as we possibly can. Obviously, I have Instagram. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. I want everyone to pause this video right now. My Instagram's Ellis Clarkey. It's linked down below. Click that link or type it in. Follow me on Instagram now. I'm going to be accepting everyone at midnight tonight. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. So I'm going to start from where I woke up yesterday morning. I was chilling. I was in bed. I had a video shoot and an interview to go to. Check through my Instagram DM. So I've moved to this side of the screen because I'm going to have to put images on this side of the screen to show you exactly what I mean. I woke up to an Instagram direct message from an unknown user. I'm not going to give his personal Instagram or his any of his details away. I'm going to blur everything for his privacy reasons. He does mention that he's 13 years old and he doesn't want to gain hate because of what he said. This is what the Instagram message said. Hi Lewis mate, I've seen your videos regarding Rob where he was chained up in that building. Well me and my friend have got footage of what we think is Rob being chained up but we don't really know exactly what happened as we were really scared and we hid. I feel really bad but this was filmed back in November and we didn't know what to do until my friend saw one of your videos earlier. I spoke to my mum and she mentioned the police or maybe to try and contact you first and see if it helps in any way to catch the nasty people that did this to your friend. I'm so sorry that it took us this long. Then he inserted a video. I have seen this video. I am shocked. I am 99.9% .9 sure this is exactly what happened to Rob. So we're throwing it back in part seven, all the way to part one before me and Jordan and Alex entered that room. 24 hours before me, Jordan and Alex entered that room and found Rob. There is actual video sound footage of Rob being taken. This video shows clear evidence of this happening to Rob. I'm gonna play the video after I read the next couple of messages and you can see it for yourself. I then replied saying, okay, this is serious and mad. So what that tells me that you were in the room next door where Rob was being chained up and attacked by the two men. Did you see any of their faces? I'm gonna make a video on this because this is serious. I'm not annoyed, but why didn't you help Rob? You must have left him in there and he could have died if I didn't find him. I'm 13 and so is my friend. We were scared. Please, if you make a video, don't tell people my name or my Instagram. I don't want to get the hate. I'm really sorry. I saw Rob on the floor crying for help. I picked up his shoe, but my mate said to not get involved as the nasty men may come back and chain us up. So I dropped it and we ran. I'm so sorry. Please don't hate me. I love your videos since I started watching them. Wow. Wow. Four months after Rob has been chained up, beaten, attacked, robbed, a young lad comes forward with footage. I am going to play the footage for you right now and you can make it out yourselves. Unfortunately you can't see Rob or the two attackers but you can hear everything and you can see the shoe being thrown across the room. This is absolutely insane. Doesn't make sense whatsoever. Rob never mentioned hearing or seeing anyone else. He may have heard them, thought they were the same men. But Rob was panicking, Rob was scared. These guys could have done something, but we completely understand that they were scared. It's bizarre because I never thought this video would actually be being made. Never in a million years did I think someone else was there. Someone else witnessed what happened. This could really work in our favour. I'm going to play the video now.
It's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get Jordan on the phone and hopefully he can shed some light on what to do. You right, mate? Are you busy? Not really, no. Something really bad's happened. What? Well, basically, right? So, um, I've just been sent a clip by this guy who's like... Let me pause this. There's this 13-year-old lad, right, who has just oh. sent me a clip on Instagram, uh, which is, I'm pretty 99.9% .9 sure that it's Rob being attacked. You know, back when we found him, like... Right, say it again. Right, so you know when we found Rob? Yeah. Like, 24 hours before we found him, or something like that, he was being attacked and chained yeah. up. Some kid was there. He was hiding, and he's filmed what's happened to Rob. So before we got there. Exactly. So I've got the footage. I haven't told Rob yet. I'm going to send it to you over quickly on Facebook. I need your advice. Yeah, Is that all right? Yeah, let me look on Facebook on you. All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. Two seconds. I'm just going to quickly send it over. Like, bruv, it's, it's bizarre. I need to know what you're going to think. Like. Two seconds. Yeah, it's just going to just watch it and just honestly I give don't. me some advice, bruv. How do I make a big screen, Lewis? It's tiny. I don't know. Oh, there you go. What's up? Let me turn it up, okay. So that's the place now. Oh, nah. Just listen, just listen. That's horrific, mate. We well, see shadows, isn't it? It's horrific, mate. I feel so sorry for him already, and I know we've been doing it for long, but. Well, listen to him. I know, but that's the thing, right? Pause it quick. Basically, uh, one of the kids told me that he went and picked up the shoe. He went and picked up the shoe, but his mate told him to drop it because they thought the guys were going to come back from. That's why it's moved from a different Literally, place. That's the first thing I took. I remember seeing his shoe. Well, these people are lucky. They didn't. The others didn't walk out this way. Nah, nah. But this is my question. Is right? Why they didn't help him? I do not know. I understand they were young. How old are they? Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, exactly. But like, if you was thirteen years old, not being funny, are they girl or boy? Like, that don't really mean anything. I don't know. Funny. Say like, for instance, two thirteen-year-old girls was there filming that. They ain't gonna go look. Like, no, obviously. <laughs> but the thing is, right? They've only just told me now because one of them has seen my videos and they've put two and two together. Well, there you go then. Uh, well, should we tell Rob? Like, what are we gonna do? We have to tell him. He's gonna see my video I, anyway. Yeah, I'd tell Rob. Obviously, I'd tell Rob. Do you know what I mean? Like, do it. Like, obviously, you can go do that. But he's like, gonna break down, mate. Showing him it. Like, honestly, that's that's horrible. <laughs> like, do no way to raise the burden. Okay, right. Let me know when you're back. I'll call him. Make sure you're sitting with him. Um, and then obviously he's got a bit of comfort because if he does lash out and get upset about it, because it's all gonna bring memories back. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's been good recently. Right. That is bad. Okay. All right, wait, I'm definitely going to tell him. Right, I'll give you a call as soon as possible, okay? Sweet, bruv, sweet, sweet, sweet. <coughs> Yo. How you doing? You all right, what's up? Nice sleep? Not really, to be honest. I've been up all night. Nice, oh, peak. Not sleep. I haven't slept hardly anything, Lewis. Just everything went on yesterday, I think. It's just... I've, yeah, it's, it's mad, mate. Frightened, mate. I've been editing all night as well, so it's just crazy. But um, basically, I'm ringing you. I'm recording at the moment um, with my camera. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. Um, basically, I've got a bit of... I don't know if it's good news or bad news. You're going to have to tell me. I've spoke to Jordan last night, um, and I got his advice on whether I should tell you or not. Just, just more of your safety more than to hide something from you, if that makes sense. But... Um, I've had been brought to light to me a young kid, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but 13 years old he is. Uh, he has actual sound and video footage of you being attacked. 
Do you remember the time back, throw it back before you even met me and Jordan before we saved you? The moment that you told us in the interview that you got your head banged, uh, you got up, you stumbled out, and the two guys in Balaclavas, obviously we've worked out now, were paid to do it or whatever, walked towards you and they beat you and they chained you up and robbed you. There is two lads that I'm pretty sure, whether they're girls or not, I don't know, but uh, uh, what I'm sure of is they're two lads hiding in the room next door, scared for their lives, thinking that they're going to get caught, and they filmed what they saw uh, of you getting chained up and that, and they've finally seen one of our videos and sent it to me. No, it's just, that's, that's, that's crap. That's not possible. I promise you, I've got... I, 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 I'm not, no, I'm not being... That, 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 that ain't possible, because we know who's there, I know who's there. Have you got your laptop handy? Uh, yeah, it's here in front of me now. Right. I'm going to send you uh, the clip on Facebook. Give me a second. Right. I'm going to send you a link. So I've had to post it um, private on YouTube or unlisted so I can get it into the video. It's for the, their footage. And just watch it. Put it on loud and watch it. I just want to see what you think. Look, it's honestly, mate. If you've only get out of bed for this, this is nothing. Nah, no, serious. Uh, you can't see you or them. You can see your shoe be because I know it's you, your voice, and you can see your shoe be thrown in pretty much the exact same place. They've also explained that they come to pick up your shoe to give it back to you and try and help you, but they heard another noise and thought that the kids, the people that attacked you, were coming back, so they left and they ran. And they didn't help you. I don't know if you heard anything. You don't. I don't remember you telling me you heard anything. Hang on, it's open, sir. Is there sound on it? Sorry. Is there sound on it? Do yeah. It up? Quite horrific. So. The guy sent it to me on Instagram. What? The guy sent it to me on Instagram. It's on Instagram? Yeah. What, it's actually on Instagram? No, 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 he sent it privately. He hasn't posted it anywhere. I don't know why they filmed it. I, I, I guess they were like us. They just like film things that happen. But like, it is... I, I, I don't know if it's going to help, but I kind of... Me and Jordan have spoken. We understand why they haven't said anything. Well, no, they've only just found us, so hence why they said anything. But we understand why they didn't help you, because they were 13. That's a very... It's on YouTube. No, 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 no. I've put it up uh, so only you can see it. Um, so I could show you because I couldn't send it to you anywhere else because I didn't think Facebook would load in time. Rob's just hung up on me. I don't understand why he just hung up on me. He's obviously going through a hard time right now. Yo, are you cool? Are you alright? If you want me to turn the camera off, bro, I don't mind, you know how it is. Is this actually real? I swear to God. Well, that's you, isn't it? Yeah. Is that your shoe? That 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 is that what you remember happening? Yeah, it's definitely me. And they've got it. Like, that is the exact account on what you gave us as soon as we met you and we interviewed you, so... I guess it's a good thing we got some witnesses. We could have some potential leads. <coughs> As I said, bro, if you just want to talk about it privately and turn the camera off, I don't mind, innit? But um, I'm posting a video today regarding that situation, if you don't mind. like, And that's, this is why I'm including this. If you don't mind, I'll just watch it. Can I just watch it all first and I'll ring you back in a bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, man, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I'll watch it and then I'll give you a call back. Yeah, yeah, no worries, no worries. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, bruv. What happened to about... When are you going to tell Rob you was meant to be with me? Yeah, I didn't know when you were going to be together. Why? What's up? Because he's just gone storming out the house. What, for real? I just told him. 
For real, I didn't know it was upsetting him that bad. Oh, shit. Yeah, because I said to you, when I FaceTime, I said, make sure, like, if you're going to tell him, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, bro. No, oh, shit. Oh, mate. Fuck. What are we going to do? I don't know. I'm going to have to talk to you privately about it. Do you know what I mean? About the camera and that. All right, one sec. I'll turn it off now. Yo. Hello. Right, you asked me to call you back. Yeah, I'm good. You feel better now, yeah? Yeah, I'll be just a bit shocked, to be honest. Yeah, I'm really sorry the way I put it. Like, I just thought it was the best way, as obviously we're not together. I know you're terrible with news, Lewis. <coughs> you just throw it at me. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, I'm glad we had a private chat anyway. It's discussed what needs to be done, you know what I'm saying? And um, hopefully this can <coughs> be some sort of use, really. Uh, yeah. Um, well, it could turn absolutely everything around, couldn't it? For the good and the bad, that's the thing. Potentially, uh, the problem is it doesn't um, it doesn't show any like person. That's the problem. No, uh, but anyone can say that's you. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Um, but it's definitely me. I definitely see my trainer flying through the air. <laughs> um, it's just weird. Like to watch back, there's things I forgot. I didn't realise. But it's just, yeah. I just who? How did you even get this? They just sent a, a young kid just sent it to me on Instagram and said that it, he's he saw one of my videos yesterday and he's put two and two together and realised the situation and he was actually there and he thought it may come in handy. Right. It's mad. Can you afterwards uh, introduce me to this person? Yeah, I can forward it. That's fine. Um, he's asked me not to put his name in the video. Um, I can understand. They've, they've witnessed something and they've... they've they are not done anything, but at the same time, they're kids. So, I want to tell him that that's okay. Yeah. That's not, that, that, that's not, you know... Well, I've told him that it's not his fault, uh, and because he's like, please don't... Of not. He said, please... He said, please don't put me in the video. Um, I don't want to get hate. I don't want to get threatened. And I'm like, mate, I will blow your name out. No one will know who you are. Like, it's not fair. You haven't done anything wrong. No, but I'd still like to message him and just... Uh, talk to him myself, if I'm honest. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Because that's, that's not very nice for anybody to have to see or hear. Um, and I mean, if you're, I mean, after now, I, I will never watch this myself again, ever. Yeah, no. Not well, um, will make me watch this again. I'm going to drive up in a minute, so I'll probably see you in about an hour anyway, and we can have a chat about it then. Yeah, all right, okay, that bit. All right, as long as you're well. Yes. All right, sweet, see you later. All right, see you later, right, bye. bye. As I said to you guys, I never expected any of this to actually become a thing. Like, this is crazy. We are now more determined to go forward and smash the research out and get every detail we possibly can on Craig. If you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do follow the movement. Subscribe to the channel. Big, huge, banging videos coming. And next week, if I can get it filmed, Craig will be on the channel and we're going to see what he has to say for himself. I'm going to try and put this to an end. This needs to finish straight away, for Rob's sake. New videos coming very, very soon. Thank you so much for the support. Please do add up my Instagram. As I said, it'll be on the screen or the link down below. It is absolutely insane. Like, I literally don't know what to say. You heard Rob's opinion. You heard Jordan's opinion. It's, it's just mad. It is just literally mad. And wait till next week for a brand new video. I'll keep you updated on my Instagram story, so make sure you're watching that. I'll catch you guys next week for a brand new video. Have a good week. Enjoy your week. And I'll catch you guys in a bit. Peace!